The car reveal season is upon us, with car livery releases coming at us fast in the lead up to the Formula 1 season, which is so close now the excitement can barely be contained. And before the season has even begun, things have already taken a massive twist at Red Bull's car reveal. So what have they got up their sleeves? Well all will be revealed in today's video. This is one you don't want to miss guys, so sit back, chill out and be sure to subscribe for more Formula 1 content. And with that said, let's get down to it. Besides the usual unique and crazy Red Bull car reveals which will often see Verstappen, Perez or Coulthard hooning a Red Bull F1 car through the streets or down a ski slope, and don't get it twisted, they definitely did do a road trip through America to make it to the reveal in New York. However, this year's twist came when Jim Farley, the CEO and president of Ford, stepped onto the stage with Christian Horner and made the announcement that Ford would be returning to the Formula 1 grid after more than 20 years away from the sport in partnership with Red Bull. The reigning world champions have been looking to strike up a partnership deal with a big brand name for a while now. And as we already know, talks took place during the 2022 season between Red Bull and Porsche. However, this broke down as Red Bull rejected the terms which were set before them, which would have seen Porsche becoming the equal partner in the Red Bull team and Red Bull powertrains. However, Red Bull felt that Porsche were not bringing enough expertise to the table for such a deal to be made. So what is Ford bringing to the table that Porsche could not? And what will their involvement be within Red Bull? What we know so far is that this will be a technical partnership between Ford and Red Bull powertrains. And we shall see the partnership officially take a hold in 2026, which in Formula 1 comes very, very fast. Now the 2026 partnership will see the two firms develop the next generation of Formula 1 hybrid engines, which will be fitted in both the Red Bull and Alpha Tauri Formula 1 cars from that date. Red Bull injected a huge investment into the building and the development of Red Bull powertrains facility in Milton Keynes, which is where Ford will be directly involved with the team rather than just being a badge on an engine. Ford will be bringing their expertise of battery cell and electrical motor technology, whilst also providing powertrain analytics and control software. Ford has said that its return to Formula 1 will help to propel the brand forward and give it a big platform to help innovate and share technological ideas. So this raises the question as to what's in it for Red Bull. Ford is a financial giant in the car industry worth a whopping $53.9 billion as of February this year. So this will definitely help to give Red Bull cash injection as well as some excellent marketing aspects moving forward. And although there has not been much revealed on the ins and outs of the partnership, we do know that Red Bull will have complete and total control, which is something that was not going to happen with the Porsche deal back in 2022. So it's definitely a win-win for both of the parties involved. Now this is not only a big change for Red Bull in terms of the deal, this also marks the first major deal to be made since the passing of Dietrich, the Red Bull founder who was very much involved in all the decision making within the team. However, Horner has made it clear that this deal always had Dietrich's blessing and he was quoted as saying, It's a big chapter in our history. I think Ford is a great brand. It's a commercial and technical deal. It has a significant benefit because the US market is booming at the moment. And of course, as a power unit manufacturer, we want to tap into their expertise and know-how, particularly at the electric vehicle side, where they're investing so much in their product range. I think this was one of the very last significant strategic decisions that Dietrich was aware of. He was fully supportive as well before his sad passing. We have the full commitment of the shareholders and that enables us to keep going about our business as we have over the last 18 years or so. So big changes at Red Bull are coming and time will tell how much these changes could benefit the team. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy today's content. And until the next time, bye bye.